Hey YouTube, um, just getting back from a week of vacation and went down to the States, just the Northeast US and uh, knew I was going to be stopping at least a, a couple of wine shops hopefully and um, just uh, went down and see what I could find, what I could pick up and uh, just sharing, you, sharing with you uh, what I was able to find during that time. So first place I stopped at was in uh, Lexington, Massachusetts, it's called Lexington Coin, just a little shop. Um, they've been there for a while and um, uh, only got about 15 minutes there. I just got in just before they were closing. So anyways, I, I went in and I asked for really looking for two main things. One was the uh, American Silver Eagles and the other was Junk Silver, Junk US Silver. Um, so I was uh, able to purchase a, a 2013 uh, American Silver Eagle. Um, nice, nice looking coin. Um, I'm going to be a little biased here, maybe, maybe not, but I don't think it's quite as nice as the uh, Canadian Silver Maple, but uh, still a, a staple in the silver market, that's for sure. So I didn't have any of these at all, and I was fortunate to be able to pick up this one for sure, at least to get my first, and thought it was a nice way to get a 2013 when I was when I was down. I haven't been in the States in a, in a couple of years, so anyway, so um, um, prices there were not too bad. They weren't the greatest but they weren't the worst so um, I thought I'd pick up a little bit while I was there because I wasn't sure where else I'd get to so so I did pick up uh, pick up that and then I did pick up some junk silver as well um, which I'll share with you in a little bit here so I went to another one in uh, in uh, uh, Maine um, you know nothing nothing spectacular um, and didn't end up buying anything there. They, uh, I was asking about junk silver. They didn't have any. Uh, I was asking. They did have um, on display some silver eagles, um, and uh, they are all in uh, all in holders, cardboard holders, and they had one for each year there. So I asked about purchasing some, and they said they weren't for sale. They only had one for each year, and they weren't selling those. So, which I understand, but unfortunately, it's you know. You shouldn't necessarily display the stuff if you don't have it for sale. So that's the way I see it. You can hold on to it if you don't want to keep one for each year. I got it. But if you're not actually selling it, don't put it on display. That's just my thought on that. So anyway, so um, so I went. I moved along again a little bit further and uh, went to another little spot um, in uh, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Um, I forget the name of it right offhand, but. Uh, Real, real nice, nice spot. Uh, the guy that's been there running it there for about five years, um, and uh, really nice, nice, uh, nice shop as well. It was really well put together. It was very clean, and you know you couldn't have to, you didn't have to go searching through a pile of stuff to try to find what you're looking for. So, but I did ask. I said I'd, I'd like to buy some some silver eagles, um, and uh, if you had any junk silver, so. Uh, so he did pull out a couple silver eagles for me. Um, I picked up uh, picked up a couple of them. I'll show you those right now. Um, I picked up a 2008 and a 2004 silver eagle from him. Uh, his prices were uh, better than what I paid for for the 2013. Um, so that was it's always a bonus. Um, they were a lot more competitive. Uh, of course, the spread still high enough as it is above uh, spot price but um, you know I just uh, I, uh, I wanted to pick up a couple more you know I really like the other ones I've got a number of silver maples if you've seen from my other videos and trying to diversify a little bit in some other stuff so so anyway so I picked those up so that was uh, that was that was great and then uh, I did buy some more junk silver uh, from them um, which was great. Uh, he had mostly dimes, and I got a couple halves and some quarters and stuff from him. Um, and uh, as I said before, I've got a friend that uh, was looking to buy uh, some uh, some new, uh, well, not new, new to him, uh, U.S. junk silver. He didn't have a whole lot here in Canada, um, so I uh, I picked that up for him as well. Um, and I'm just just selling to him at uh, at the same cost that it cost me. So. So actually, this this bag here um, is going to be uh, all the junk silver that I'm going to be selling him. Um, it's about ten dollars. Uh, it's ten dollars face value that's in here. So you got a roll of uh, roll of dimes for five bucks already, and then there's uh, a 
there's some halves in there and some quarters and some more dimes and whatnot. So, but uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of dimes and stuff were from '64, which is nice. I, and then I, some of the other junk stuff that I pulled it, I pulled it for myself in my own collection. Whether I've, I, again, I, I don't collect just junk, junk. I, I do collect junk, but I just, I do it more so in a way that it's, uh, I collect, try to have one of each year. Basically, is what I'm trying to do. Um, and I'm more, I get more of the coin collector, not the bullion collector, but I still find it interesting. It's still nice to hold. A couple of things there I'm going to show you though that I pulled out of the junk, which I found to be quite interesting for me at least, were just a couple really nice nice pieces based on the age. Now you can see here, this is a 1960 dime. Um, is in really, really great shape. I just got this out of the, the junk bucket, um, pulled it out with, uh, with a few other things. Um, so it was, a, it was a really nice piece. So I, I had one from 1960 already, but I took that out of my collection and put this one into it. So I thought that was a pretty, pretty good, pretty good looking coin too. And the other one I found in the junk bucket was this 1963 quarter, uh, real nice, real nice shine on it. Again, it's, uh, it basically looked like it was almost uncirculated, um, really hadn't been touched. So you can see the other stuff that you guys, you know, it's, it's a little bit more worn, it's dirtier, everything else, and this just has a real, real decent shine to it, so hopefully the camera's picking that up, but, um, so again, I, I had a 63 already in my collection, but I, I took that out um, and put this one in place of it, so, so I was pretty happy with those, I mean, I know they're not going, you don't get much more than any other coin based on this, but um, some of you may not appreciate it, some of you may really appreciate it, but I thought it was a, that was a pretty good find for those. So anyway, so I got the junk here, um, and I've got those two that came with it, and I bought these from him. And then um, the last thing I was just going through was going through some other silver stuff that he had, and uh, came across this, and I just, it's a, it's one ounce of, uh, one ounce of silver, fine silver. Um, you know, not, it's not a great looking coin as far as shape goes, or, or color or anything. Um, but what I liked about it was on the other side, I thought it was just kind of funny. I don't know much about this, I haven't done any research yet, but does anyone else know anything about this? You can read that. It says, did you remember your condom? What's this for? Any idea? Let me know in, your, in the message box there if you've seen this or know what it's for, what it's from. Um, I just, I decided to pick it up. It wasn't much over, over spot. Um, just thought it was kind of an interesting thing I could bring back. So, so anyways, if you if you know anything about that coin, um, a piece of bullion, I guess you should say, just let me know and uh, send me a message. So, on the uh, on the way back home, I stopped. We stopped in in Moncton, in New Brunswick, for a night, and I was going to go to a shop I've been to once before. It's called the Coin Cabinet. And uh, they seem to be pretty good there. They're pretty nice people. Prices are very, very, very uh, reasonable, very competitive, which is which is always nice. Um, and uh, I went in looking for again just a couple other things. If you've seen from my previous video, I have a transportation series that uh, I was missing just the one one coin, one item, um, and that was this one. It's the Brooklyn. Um, this is a 2003 from the Royal Canadian Mint. Um, again, a real, real, real nice piece. So this actually now will conclude my set uh, for the transportation series from 2000 to 2003. So, but again, it's got the gold guild on it, um, and uh, that was uh, they had this actually on their eBay store for 69 bucks plus eight dollars shipping. And so I walked into the store. And I said, I see you have it on your eBay store. I said, you know, do you, you have it for sale in here? And he said, they said, well, we'll just double check, make sure we still got it here. So they did. Um, and uh, they sold it to me for 59 bucks. And of course, no shipping either. So I thought, uh, that's not bad. $59, what is the issue price on these coins? Uh, this particular one can be a little bit tricky to get at that price. Um, you're going to pay at least that, if not more. Um, so I've seen them go upwards of 60, 70 bucks easily. So 
So anyway, so that worked out really well. And then uh, they had some bullion and stuff there and whatnot. And so I asked about, again, American Silver Eagles. What do you got? So they had a bunch of different years as well. So I thought, well, I'm going to pick up a couple more. So I did. So I picked up a 2007. As you can see. All in pretty good shape. And then I also picked up a 2009. So. They had out some other years there as well. Again, if you, like I said before, I could have bought a bunch of 2009s. Some people don't care about the dates. So that's fine too. Um, I kind of like going with a different date. If I can get them all the same price, why not get different dates? You know? And uh, if it was a really good buy on one particular year, well, for sure, then you make up and get that year. But anyways, I... Uh, so I was able to add, you know, right here, just this alone. A total of six ounces silver bullion. So, um, which was nice to nice to get. Again, this junk silver being sold. I kept these for my collection. I've got other junk I kept in my collection too, but I just pulled these out just to just to show uh, a couple of nice examples of what I was able to find find in there. And of course the last piece of that collection. So so again, big question for today is what do you know about that? Where did it come from? When it was made? What's it for? Anything anyone ever seen these before? I haven't seen them before, but I'm sure there's other ones exist and maybe they're very common, maybe they're not, but Anyways, just let me know what you think about that. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video and the other videos, please subscribe. Um, and uh, I'll keep uh, some new videos coming as well. So, anyways, take care.